Welcome to the latest video and in this video short well what we're excited to announce is the publication of the Six Sigma Black Belt Handbook 400 pages of golden advice on how to become a world-class black belt and earn double your normal engineer salary because that's what being a world-class problem solver is all about. This is a how-to book. It's not a statistics book. So you are be going to become a brilliant engineer. If you buy this book, you are going to become a brilliant black belt. Go to lulu.com and look for the Six Sigma Black Belt Handbook by Paul Allen right now. Welcome to the latest video. Now this is Lean Lesson 5 in Standard Work. And the standard work we're going to talk about today, well that is how do you decide what your batch size is for any product? Now the standard work here is very simple. It's to say what percentage what percentage of each day can you afford what percentage of each day can you afford to be set up okay so it's going to be you know what percentage so if you say you can afford let's say it's 1 hour a day you can afford 1 hour per day to set up and let's say that um, the setup time takes 30 minutes the setup time takes 30 minutes that obviously gives you two per day so that leaves you with three hours and 30 mins runtime each product that you come up with is going to have a runtime of 3 hours and 30 minutes. That's the batch size. That's the batch size that you pick. And by the way, that will be fixed. This is standard work. You will always do that batch size. Of course now, if this is linked to the min-max system, which we've discussed, part A will have a batch size. When you get the difference between the min and the max, what's it going to be? It's going to be the batch size. So you've always got the space for it. You've put the space aside. You're always going to do it. You have a standard way of working it out. Now, of course, if an engineer comes along and they reduce the setup time from 30 minutes a day, down to 15 minutes a day. What does that mean? Well, I cut this in half because now I'm going to set up four times per day. What does that mean? What's half of that? That's, uh, ooh, I can't work it out. It's uh, one and a half hours plus 15. So it's one hour, 45 mins, isn't it? One hour, 45 mins. That would be the batch size. Now what do you do? You reduce your max level on all your pull systems. Standard work. So you can see this standard work feeds into this standard work. And because you have rules, because you have rules about batch sizes, you know how to do your pull systems with a standard number. And then if you do continuous improvement, standard work kicks in, all of, all of your numbers change. Everything changes. So you're constantly, constantly attacking the seven wastes. But now because everything's automatic, you can spend time on your setups. You can spend time evaluating your safety stock levels and things like that. And you can decide whether you could be sailing a little bit closer to the wind, releasing more money from the belly of the company, producing more out of the same footprint. The more you do this, the more you reduce the seven wastes, 
the more you free up resources, thinking time, space, and the more money you will produce out of the same resources. Lean lesson number five, batch sizes. That's how it's done.